Do you watch NHL games? How about NBA or NFL games, college football, UFC, college sports in general? If you're a sports fan, ESPN Plus just got a lot better for you. Yeah, while it hasn't always been a great way for everyone to watch live sports without cable, its move to begin airing regular season and out-of-market NHL games will make it a better fit for more sports fans. It offers exclusive live sports content that you won't see on ESPN or its other channels. There's an emphasis on soccer, UFC, and other niche sports. And now it will also air more traditional sports, including some NBA and MLB games. Yeah, and there's talks in the works to add NFL and SEC football games to the ESPN Plus lineup. We've done a full review of ESPN Plus, which we link to below, and you can watch it now if you're unfamiliar with the service. Here, we are going to hone in on what's new to ESPN Plus and give a quick update on what's changed with the popular sports streaming service. Yeah, now before we dive into the details of that NHL deal, we just want to say that our goal isn't to argue about ESPN Plus here, but rather to help you decide if it offers the content you want at a price you feel is fair, which right now is $5.99 a month. And if you're ready to try it out, click our link below. Okay, so what NHL games will an ESPN Plus subscription get you? ESPN says it has reached a seven-year deal with the NHL that will bring lots of exclusive professional hockey content to its family of networks. For starters, 75 national regular season games per season will be shown exclusively on ESPN Plus and Hulu, along with over a thousand out-of-market games that were previously shown on NHL.TV. Then it will simulcast exclusive coverage of the Stanley Cup Final from ABC on ESPN Plus and across the ESPN family of networks. Also, it will continue to showcase its In the Crease original highlight show featuring Linda Cohn and Barry Melrose on ESPN Plus each NHL game day throughout the season. Wow, that is a lot of hockey. And it may spell the end of the NHL's own streaming service, which has been replaced with ESPN Plus for all intents and purposes. These changes begin with the 2021-22 season, and ESPN is rolling out a new package to help fans get ready for it. Disney has announced that it is launching ESPN Plus on Hulu, which will give Hulu subscribers the ability to sign up for ESPN Plus and watch all of its content directly within the Hulu platform. And that's a really nice offer, John, because it means one less streaming service that you have to sign into to watch something. Yeah, it really is. Now, there was a little more new content ESPN said is coming to ESPN+. Plus. It said it will add SEC football and basketball in the 2024 and 2025 seasons, and that it reached a long-term deal with the NFL to add ABC to the Super Bowl rotation and air some regular season games on ESPN+. Plus. In the 2022 season, there will be a Saturday doubleheader during the season's final weekend and one Sunday morning NFL game streaming nationally on ESPN+. Plus. Yeah, and NFL Primetime will return to ESPN Plus on Sunday nights and will stream throughout the week. ESPN Plus is getting exclusive streaming NFL games. It's a real positive for a service that honestly we watched a lot more this spring than we ever have before. We enjoyed watching a number of Division II college football games on the service. When you add it to the NBA and MLB and NHL games they carry, along with all the soccer, UFC, and college sports, it's really a great way to watch live sports without cable for a very reasonable monthly cost. Yeah, while ESPN Plus isn't for everyone, it's obvious that they are trying to add more to their lineup. We get a lot of feedback from viewers about ESPN Plus, which shows it's something many cord cutters feel strongly about. So let's touch quickly on what ESPN Plus is not, as well as a quick recap of what it is. It's not a replacement for ESPN. Nope. If you're looking for a way to watch the national championship game, ESPN Plus isn't it. If you want to watch Part in the Interruption or Sports Center, ESPN Plus is not the best route. However, you can watch other original shows from the likes of Stephen A. Smith or Peyton Manning and the entire ESPN 30 for 30 library, along with other compelling content. The key to understanding what's on ESPN Plus and what isn't is one little word, exclusive. And that leads us to our next point, what ESPN Plus is. It's a standalone premium sports streaming service that airs events, exclusive sports content, and original programming. Think of it as an expansion of the former Watch ESPN app. 
ESPN Plus lets you watch sports content you won't find anywhere else. That's exactly right, Nicole. But just because it's not a replacement for ESPN doesn't mean that it's not worth the cost. For $5.99 a month or $59.99 if you sign up for a year at a time, you get exclusive access to UFC pay-per-view content and in addition to what we've already mentioned, tons of college sports. If you like to watch college football, basketball, and volleyball, especially from schools and smaller conferences, ESPN Plus is a terrific choice for you. The Big South, Conference USA, and Ivy League are just a few of the many conferences whose games you'll find on ESPN Plus. With all that content and the new NHL and NFL editions, don't be surprised if you see the cost of ESPN Plus go up in the future. It just might be worth it to sign up for a year if you try the service and find that you like it. There is one other thing worth mentioning quickly, and that's the Hulu plus Disney plus ESPN plus bundle, which we link to below. For some families, it may be the best cord cutting solution. While it does not include live TV, it does offer an immense amount of on-demand content from Hulu, ESPN, and Disney. We have this bundle and honestly have been surprised at just how many great shows and movies there are to watch on Hulu and Disney Plus. At $12.99 a month, it's a great deal. Together, all three streaming services provide a wide variety of entertainment and sports content. That's great, John, but what if you want to watch ESPN without cable? If ESPN Plus isn't an option, there are several streaming services that offer ESPN and they cost a lot less than cable. Our favorite option is Sling TV. Its orange channel package includes ESPN along with other top news and entertainment networks and it costs just $35 a month. Unlike ESPN Plus, a Sling Orange subscription will give you the ESPN live stream. It's a true cable replacement and you can learn more about it in our Sling TV review video. Other options we like include Fubo TV and YouTube TV. Both are more expensive. Fubo's family plan and YouTube TV cost $64.99 a month. However, you get all of ESPN's channels and Fox Sports channels, as well as other live sports content. You also get local channels, which aren't included in Sling. However, at double the cost, it may be more than you wanna pay. If that's the case, we recommend pairing Sling with an antenna so you can get your local channels and all the sports games on them for free for life. If you're new to cord cutting, watch our video on how to cut the cord and save big on cable each month. It will show you what you need to find the right streaming service for your needs and make the switch. Yeah, there are more options than ever, so don't wait to start saving. Let us know what you think about the additions to ESPN Plus in the comments below. Do you think they're going to raise their monthly subscription rate? Yep, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you can be notified of all our new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.